I just cut my finger so bad. Oh. I just about sliced the entire tip of my finger off. Looks like we got some snow on the ground and it's a beautiful day out. Not a cloud in the sky. Good morning. So yesterday I decided to leave my campsite at the Salton Sea and drive two hours away into the mountains of Southern California. And even though we're a couple hours away, you can actually technically still see the Salton Sea from the campsite that I'm at and just wait till you see the view that we slept at last night. It's one of the best ones yet, I think. Also, if you're new here and this is your first video that you've ever watched, my name is Ryan. I live in the back of my van full time and I have done so for the last two years and I'm currently on an elongated road trip all the way from Key West, Florida up to Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. And currently we're just outside of Julian, California up in the mountains making some coffee. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. And last night I actually slept right down there in that valley, right before that ridge line right there, and then drove all the way up to the top of this mountain last night. That's covered in snow. And fun fact, even though technically we left the uh, Salton Sea in my last video, you can still see it from up here. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up. I might use my other camera and zoom in. You can see the Salton Sea just over that last ridge line there in the distance. You can honestly probably see Bombay Beach somewhere over there on the Salton Sea. But I think that's pretty cool because down there it is 80 degrees and up here where I am, there is literally snow on the ground. So California is a pretty crazy place. This spot that we stayed at last night is just kind of this viewpoint up on the top of this mountain and it is just beautiful weather out here today. Yeah, according to that sign, this is the uh, Desert View Park. Makes sense because you can see the Salton Sea, but ain't you pretty? Definitely nice waking up to views like this. So I hate to admit it, but I still have not done my laundry. So it has just continued to pile up up here and get more packed and more packed. But it's not because I didn't want to go to a laundromat. It's because yesterday when I was camped down in that valley and today up here in Julian, there is not a single laundromat in sight other than if I drive past Julian another hour and a half um, which I'm hoping to do today is get to that laundromat but there's just been none in the area so I haven't been able to go so it's mostly not because I'm lazy I think today we're just going for a uh, simple breakfast of oatmeal and raspberries I tried to uh, snowboard that I bought the other day in the back of the van and it doesn't fit so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to give this away or sell it or do something with it because it's taking up too much space in the van so if anybody needs a snowboard I think these are male bindings uh, I don't know I mean they fit my feet I'm a size 12 and it's just like a general Roxy snowboard whoever wants it send me a DM and I'll just ship it to you for free Throw some raspberries in there. We'll call that our little uh, mountain man berry breakfast on a mountain. So coming up and visiting small mountain towns like this is one of my favorite things to do because a lot of the times there's a really neat little historic main street that you can go explore. And I know that Julian has one and specifically this town of Julian is known for its apples and apple products. Specifically, their apple pies are supposed to be the best. So we are gonna try one of those out today. Gotta give the face a good wash first though. Also, I'm fairly certain that this spot is a uh, stop along the Pacific Crest Trail, which is a super long hike that people do in California. So we might see a bunch of through hikers in the town as well. But it is time to say goodbye to these spectacular mountain views we're waking up to and head into town. Onward. made it. It was only like a five minute drive from where we stayed last night and I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty uh, packed today because it is a Saturday. So that should be fun for finding parking. Never mind, there is a public parking lot right here that we're gonna take. All right, parking is paid for. First order of business though, finding myself a bathroom because that spot that I was at last night didn't have one and that coffee 
going right through me. But this is it, this is the main street. They got a bunch of like old timey Western facades on the businesses. Hiker food, caramel apples, fresh apple cider. The only thing that sucks about being in small towns like this is there's no big box stores or gas stations or places where you can find an easily accessible public bathroom. So sometimes it takes a little bit more looking, but I just saw a sign saying that there should be some back behind this building over here. So there they are. There's a long line of people out there, so I gotta make this quick. Now that we got that done, let's go check out the town. These things look like they'd be pretty cool for a camp setup. A one log fire. Maybe I get one of these. All right, we got our little fire log. Now it's time to try out some of this pie. Long lines. They look so good. Right. Can I just get a slice about the pie? Thank you very much. All right, so I feel like to get the uh, full experience, I got to eat it while it's warm right here. Cheers. Wow. Really rich, but really good. I should have got the a la mode version with the ice cream scoop on top. I feel like that would have just topped it all off and made it perfect, but easily one of the best apple pies I've ever had. And this crusty top on it, so good. It's like a coffee cake topping. Mm. So good. All right, so that apple pie was delicious and I absolutely deleted it. It's gone in like four seconds. But I think the last thing we gotta do is let's check out in this town is grab some groceries from the little grocery store they have. But before we do that, I'm gonna go put this back in the car. We're not getting it much, just kind of the essentials. It's a pretty small grocery store. much. Have a good one. Not gonna lie though, I really do love these small mountain towns. They just have so much personality and I think uh, whenever I decide to settle down way later in life, I'm just gonna buy a plot of land up here in one of these mountain towns. Really gotta get rid of the snowboard. So I really didn't get much at the store, just kind of enough to last me like two or three days if I don't hit a grocery store again. And this should be enough. All right, groceries are all put away. Let's get out of here. All right, so on the route that I am driving, I have the option between going to these two laundromats, because that's the only real option on the way, and I have the choice between a two-star laundromat that has mostly dirty, broken machines, or a one-star laundromat. So I think we're gonna go for the two-star and hope for the best. We're gonna go see if we can get some laundry done and find ourselves a campsite for the night. We are going to try to camp tonight is right up here to the left at a trailhead, Iron Mountain Trailhead to be specific, and I think it's right there. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty unlevel up there at the top, so I think I'm gonna try to take one of these spots kind of closer to the road, because they look a lot more level. Oh, very nice. And this spot has bathrooms. Always a plus. So I think I'm gonna take this spot right here. Might be a little louder, because we're so close to the, uh, road here but honestly I'd rather have a level sleeping surface and have it be a little louder than have to sleep super unleveled. 
All right. So, tonight's spot really isn't much. It's just this kind of dirt parking lot on the side of the road. And I think up here is the trailhead. I don't think I'm gonna take any kind of hike tonight just because I'm not really feeling it. But I might go out and run that tomorrow morning to get the day started. But yeah, I'm just hoping it's not as uh, uphill as the last hike I took. There's even a little stream here. Beautiful out here. But yeah, I think it kind of goes around and up to one of these peaks over here somewhere. I don't know if you can see it, but the moon's out over there too. That's pretty much it. And the bathrooms really aren't much, they're just pit toilets. So while they are here, it's nothing really to call home about. It's just kind of a hole in the ground that you go to the bathroom in. But I will say, the way that they design those kind of toilets are very good because they absolutely, unless they haven't been cleaned out in a while, never smell. It's actually pretty crazy. But yeah, this is home for the night. Also, if anybody has any suggestions for what I can put on the edge of my counter right here because it is flaking off and peeling all over the place, this IKEA edge banding, I don't know if I put it on wrong or, or what, but it's just not holding up, so. I need something to cover that up to make it look pretty again. And I just realized that I drove all the way here with my cabinet open. And my Q-tips fell out. But nothing else, so that's good. I already miss being up in the mountains. It's already hot in the back of the van. Currently it is 83 degrees. So I'm gonna get these fans turned on. And I really need to clean this one out. It's getting dirty. All right, so now that we've got our campsite for the night, before we do anything else, I gotta fold all this. And I'm gonna do that in 2.5 seconds. All right, laundry is all done, put away. Now let's get to making some dinner. And technically, I guess I would classify this as stealth camping because it's not expressly allowed for you to sleep in your vehicle overnight in these parking lots, but it's not not allowed. It's just a lot more free stealth camping than you would necessarily have in the city. So I'm actually gonna cook with my door open because there's a nice breeze coming in and it feels good. But just having those fans on actually decreased the temperature in the van by like three degrees over 10 minutes, so not too bad. So that store that I went to earlier didn't have any hamburger buns, but I've been really craving a burger, so I think tonight we're gonna make some Wagyu burgers on a tortilla, because that's all that I have. Forgot I had these gloves, so figured I'd use them to mix this meat up. So for the burger meat, we're gonna keep it pretty simple, since this is some nice beef. And all I'm gonna add to this is just some uh, roasted garlic and herb seasoning. There we go. And before we cook this uh, meat up, I'm gonna get the pan out and cook up some of this turkey bacon as a topping. Typically I'd use uh, regular bacon, but I don't have any, so that's what we're gonna use. Perfect fit. All right, so while we wait for those to cook, I'm gonna start prepping the rest of the ingredients. I just cut my finger so bad. Oh. 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 I just about sliced the entire tip of my finger off. I need to work on my cutting technique. All right, time to break out the first aid kit. Oh. I don't know if this is too much to show on YouTube, but it's definitely not looking the best. Honestly though, with how much I cook, it was only a matter of time before I cut myself because my cutting technique is really not the best. It does not feel good though. All right, I'm gonna take care of this for the next 10 minutes and I'll check back in with you when my thumb is healed. Alrighty, so as I was kind of tending to my thumb, wrapped it up in a bunch of gauze and just put a bunch of pressure on it. And once the bleeding finally stopped, I wiped it down with an antiseptic wipe um, and just put a crap ton of band-aids over it. So that was not the most fun and I actually got extremely lightheaded for about five to 10 minutes, which I'm not sure why, because I'm not really squeamish around blood, so don't know what caused that, but got it all taken care of, at least somewhat. It still hurts like heck, but at least now we can continue cooking. And I think all of my prep work is done other than cutting tomatoes, so hopefully we don't have any other incident with that. And while I was uh, fixing my thumb up and 
my hand was covered in blood. I had uh, some fans come up to the uh, van. They pulled up right here because they saw me at the light and they came over and said hi. It was uh, this guy and his son. So I apologize if I sounded preoccupied. I was just trying to take care of my thumb. But I'm always down to say hi to people if they come up. So if you ever see me in public, don't be afraid to come up and say what's up. But anyways, back to the cooking. So while I was dealing with my thumb, the bacon finished cooking. It's a little bit overcooked, but that's not a problem. I think now we can get started on the burger portion. So for that, I'm just gonna take one of these tortillas and kind of spread the raw meat all over it. Get some new gloves on so that I don't taint my fresh wound with some uh, raw meat because that would not be good. Let's take some of this and spread it over the tortilla. Kind of just like that. And that's gonna be our burger. And I'm probably gonna make a few of these too. This is just one because I have a lot of meat left. And then just kind of plop this right down in there and let that cook. And while we wait for that, I'm gonna prep a few more tortillas. All right, so I got the rest of the uh, tortillas finished and I forgot to put onions on the first one, but that's fine. Hopefully this meat's stuck to the bottom of this tortilla. I don't really know if it will. Oh, that should be done. Wow, that shrunk a lot. <laughs> now I'm just gonna kind of cook up the rest of these, but for each one of these, as I take them off, I'm gonna add a slice of American cheese so that it kind of gets all nice and melty. All right, so we have got all of the taco burgers cooked up and ready to go. And while I was uh, cooking those up, I also chopped up some tomatoes and then chopped up the bacon as well. Didn't cut my thumb, so that's good. But now the final thing we have to do is make some burger sauce. And I'm just gonna kind of mix my favorite burger toppings together. So we got some mayonnaise, some ketchup, some garlic powder, onion powder, and I'm not measuring any of this. I'm just kind of pouring it in there. A little bit of paprika. And then some fresh garlic, and I think that should be it. Ideally, I'd probably add some pickle juice to this too, but I don't have any, so. Now we can just mix that up. And now, we can just build these like an assembly line. First, burger sauce. And then some lettuce. Tomatoes. And then turkey bacon. And that, is pretty much it for burger taco quesadilla things. And I'm just gonna go ahead and close this door for now because it is kind of loud out there. But there we go. Don't they look delicious? I think they do. All right, so I just fold each one over like a little quesadilla. And also I'm not really following a recipe here. I just kind of had these ingredients and I really wanted burgers, but I didn't want them on white bread because I feel like that just ruins it for some reason. I don't know why I've had burgers on like white bread before, and it just doesn't taste the same for some reason. In my mind, at least, burger tacos sounded like they would be good, so I guess we'll find out. Got a nice little burger taco pile going here. First bite. Cheers. That is really good. And it's nice because it's almost like it's a uh, smash burger because the patties are so thin, which is my favorite kind of burger, so works out perfectly, but look at that. Beautiful. Definitely worth losing the tip of my finger over. And actually super easy to make. Honestly, I think the only thing that can make this better is if I had a Diet Coke to go with it, but sadly I don't. All I have is some ice water with a little bit of Mio. And I missed the cup a little bit. Also, my hair looks crazy. I'm gonna pop a hat on. There we go. It is tough not having a thumb to like hold things though. I'm definitely not gonna be able to finish all of these though. So these will just be lunch and dinners for tomorrow or the next day. All right, <clears throat> I'm stuffed. Let's get these all packaged up and in the fridge. Surprised I was able to fit them all in one Ziploc bag. I thought I was gonna need two. And I really need to organize my fridge, but I'll do that later. And honestly, again, the van really isn't in too bad of a shape after cooking that whole meal. I just got a couple dishes I gotta do. Other than that, we're looking pretty good. But I think that's pretty much it for today. It's been a long day. So I'm probably just gonna hang out in the van for the rest of the night, maybe play some Xbox and get some work done. And I'm actually filming a video a day for the next four days. So my next four videos that come out are gonna be filmed day after day after day after day. Cause I'm flying home this Thursday for three or four days. So I wanna make sure I have enough videos to uh, make sure they keep coming out. So tomorrow's video will pick up pretty much exactly where this one left off tomorrow morning. As always, truly appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, think about clicking that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. And I will catch you guys on Tuesday in the morning.